Hello, Internet. She loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. We do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, though it is going to change just a little bit. Some pretty exciting news you may have noticed with the intro that I have joined Geeks Under Grace. They contacted me, brought me in, and loved me as their own. And I'm just, I'm really excited. So what does this mean for the show itself? Really, all it means is that you're going to see and hear about them a little bit more. Other than that, the content stays the same. It is still my show, which is fantastic. It means you get the information that you've always gotten, and you get the same stupid opinions that you've always gotten. So if you like anything geeky, and let's face it, everybody is a geek about something, whether it be movies, video games, music, whatever, just go check out geeksundergrace.com, like them on Facebook, and subscribe to them on YouTube as well, because I hear they're going to be doing a lot more with their YouTube channel pretty soon. And to the people who are watching this from Geeks Under Grace, I just want you guys to know how excited I am to be a part of this. And all glory be to God, because let's face it, I, just, I couldn't do this on my own. And literally, there would be no Christian news show if there was no God. There wouldn't be any Christian anything if there was no God. So I just want to throw that out there because I don't think that I say that enough. And from that, we can go on to the first story of the day. And the first story of the day is about Legos. Fun fact about me, I used to have so many Legos. So anytime I get to talk about Legos, that's fantastic, especially when it's for ministry. Which is why I am very excited to talk about Maritime Architect Wilbert McKinley Jr., which I just want to put out there is quite the title. And the reason that we were talking about him today is because he has made about 150 different Lego ships. And I don't know this for sure, but it looks like they are up to scale to the Lego minifigures. And so he takes all of these ships and he puts them on display and teaches kids about science and engineering. And with that, he teaches how science and engineering can coexist with Christianity and how that works. So McKinley, you'll probably never see this, but you are do, you're doing amazing things. This is just awesome. And before we go into our next story, a while back we talked about these immigrant kids coming from Mexico that were just here and we didn't know really what to do with them. And then I had also mentioned that there were a lot of churches trying to help out, but there were also a lot of people that were really angry the churches were trying to help out. Well, there was this Lutheran church that was going to house a bunch of these immigrant children. If they had plans to do this, they had everything set up, they were ready to do so, and the entire community had an uproar about it. Community claiming that they did not believe that their children would be safe and they didn't want their church being a motel. And so the church gave in, they decided not to do this, which I guess is probably good news for some people, bad news for others. So me personally, I don't really have too many thoughts on immigration itself, but I don't really think this is about immigration anymore. It just seems like people leaving children out to die. But then again, that's just me, so let me know what you guys think. And from that, we go on to the final story of the day, which is about Iraq. Again, I know I've been talking about them a lot, but... It is a situation dealing with genocide, so I really don't apologize. And sadly, the reason we are talking about Iraq, and more specifically ISIS today, is because of reporter James Foley. I know he went by Jim, I don't really know what's more appropriate, but ISIS has had him for quite a while now, and today released a video of them beheading him. Claiming that they did it in retaliation to the US airstrikes happening earlier this month. They ended the video with another reporter stating that his life is in the hands of the United States. It's believed that this other reporter is Stephen Sotliff of Florida. One key thing that's kind of scary to know is that one of the militants that spoke in the video had a British accent. And the reason that this is scary is because it does kind of give evidence that there are supporters of ISIS in other countries. So that being said, prayers out to Stephen Sotliff, prayers out to everybody involved in Iraq right now because it's just, it's a terrible situation. I keep saying that every day we talk about it, but it's, it's awful. And just remember to be thankful that you are not, you know, in that situation. Some of people do not have it nearly as easy or comfortable as we do. I've said it before many times, but it's a lot easier to talk about my faith behind a camera in my cozy little apartment than, uh, you know, in Iraq right now. And to commemorate the first video of being with Geeks Under Grace, we're going to go to the question of the day. And the question of the day today is simply, what do you geek out about? And it doesn't have to be video games and movies and comic books. I, you geek out about something, I know it, whether it be cars or sports or something, too. For me, I geek out pretty much about all the stereotypically geeky stuff to geek out about, but comic book movies are definitely my thing. I just, I love superhero movies. So that's my thing, but I want to know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment about that or anything that I talked about in the comment section below. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com. My name's Cody Arbery, your Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody, like, subscribe. I will see you later, and God bless.